my final thoughts on my candy weave hair experience so if you want to know how that turned out please stay tuned all right you guys so this is the hair right here this is from candy weave and this is their Brazilian wavy they sent me three bundles and a closure the lengths of the bundles were a 20 18 and a 16 and I received the 14 inch closure as you guys see um, and this has been about maybe, this is probably a month, yeah, about a month and some change um, I've been wearing this hair. This is a full wig unit that I made on a glueless wig cap. Um, if you want to know more about that cap, you can also check out Fabulosity is Me. She's an amazing, amazing um, um, guru here who does her, does makeup hair, fashion, on point, etc. Um, I got the idea from her. I also would link a link to the glueless wig cap which I purchased from AliExpress down below. Alright, so let's get to the specs of the hair. Like I told you, 20, 18, 16, 14 inch closure. Um the hair held up well. I'm gonna get into the pros of the hair. The pros of the hair is that it looks beautiful. It does hold a magnificent curl. Um, the closure is a one. I love this closure. It is so realistic. The density of the closure is amazing. Um, I did do a little plucking to it, as you guys see, and I do love that it is the fact that this is a freestyle closure, meaning you can like part this anywhere. Underneath my closure, I do have a stocking cap. <coughs> excuse me, to kind of um, you know give you the look of a natural scalp it's kind of creating a silk based closure on a budget and it turned out really nice and I probably use a different color a little lighter one because in the light when I go outside it's kind of a little darker than I would like but hey I just I keep it moving um the hair is beautiful I just have a nice sheen like I said it is bouncy this is the back of the hair Still nice, still beautiful. So the pros of the hair is like I said, beautiful, nice sheen, holds a magnificent curl. The closure is amazing, A plus. We recommend the closure on top. Love the closure. The cons of the hair. As you guys see, this is my length now. My length was a lot longer than this, but um, the hair sheds a lot more than I would like. Um, and it does tangle. Not a lot, but it does tangle, but the shedding was something that was just kind of um, more than I would like. Um, it shed during brushing, it just shed a lot, and it was really had this really thick feel to it, kind of staticky. Every time you kind of ran your fingers through it, it was really staticky and it swelled a lot. Okay, so I wore this wig about four times a week because it is a removable unit. I installed combs. What I did was I went and purchased some silicone mix, okay? And I mix some silicone mix in some water, more water than silicone mix, and I, I let this soak in it overnight. That helped a lot with the tangling. And when there's less tangling, there's less shedding. It helped a lot, but eventually it kind of got back to how it was before. I'm just gonna do a test for you guys. As you guys see, I'm just gonna run my hands through this hair, okay? In the back, I'm just running my hands through it. And not really not tangling, little snacks here and there. I'm just gonna run my hands through the hair. Just, you know, just combing through the hair. Yada, yada, yada. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Just getting out, you know, finger combing, getting the tangles out, okay? Okay. So let me just show you the shedding that I got from those pass throughs. This, okay. This happens a lot. Um, it just sucks because the hair is so beautiful. Now, I get the shedding from the bundles, not the closure. The closure is fantastic, okay? I love the closure. 
it's the bundle. So this is the type of hair, if you're going to purchase this hair, I would highly, highly recommend that you seal your webs, okay? Back and front, just to try to eliminate the um, shedding. The shedding can be very worrisome, you know, I just, I'm just running my fingers through the hair. I, this from the slight, slight snags, not heavy tangles or something to write home to mom about, but this from running my hand, once again, through this hair. That's the first, this is the second. So, a lot of shedding, more than like I said than I would like that, this really sucks. Um, but other than that, I do love the hair, but it sheds like a wild cat that has been in a fight on the street. Which is why I lost, I believe I lost a lot of length. Um, it's about an 18, not even an 18, and maybe when I, when I flat iron it, probably about an 18, between a 17 and 18. Um, because it just shed and shed and shed and shed. Um, this is my bottom bundle, which was my 20 inch bundle, okay? Let me go ahead and I'm going to my bottom bundle. It just, it just shed a, more than I would like. You see how I got, and I did not, I mean I cut my, some layers into it, but I wasn't cutting all back here. This is all from shedding. This from shedding over time. You know, and which is why I probably wore didn't wear it as much as I would like to because I just didn't want to do with the shedding. But the but the hair is gorgeous. The closure's on point. Love the closure. The hair sheds can be irritating, but seal your webs. I didn't seal my webs, and I also did not cut them. I did the fold over method all the way till I got to the top. The only part I I cut was when I was done with my wig and I had some hair hanging over, it and I cut that, and that's it. So no, I did not cut my webs. I did not seal my webs, and the hair kind of sheds a lot. You know, I don't. I try my best not to run my fingers through it. It can get that kind of matted and it swells. But like I said, when I did the silicone mix on it, it helped a million percent. Um, and then after so long, it kind of got back to the kind of tangly. But yeah, I do like the hair. But that is my thoughts on the hair. My final thoughts. The hair is cute. The hair is beautiful. And closure magnificent. I can't say that enough. The closure is beautiful. I love the feel of the lace. The lace is so soft, and the net, the netting on the closure is so fine. It's like almost like Swiss lace or something. It's really beautiful. And here is my, and I have a my stocking cap kind of slid back. Well, let me go ahead and pull it back for y'all. It's always sliding here and there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit more. You know, that's what my stocking cap is. I didn't pull it up, but if you pull it up, it'd be fine. You can also do some type of, a um, little bit of my edges out. Here's a little bit of more stocking cap. I can just pull that out, but I'm not really tripping. But other than that, candy weaves, um, it's okay. I will recommend their closures. Closures on point. If you do want to get some hair from them, I'm going to say Silly West back and forth, back, back, front and back. But the hair is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hopefully they work on this. We're maybe getting a better, tighter uh, web construction. Um, but other than that, I do love the hair. I adore the hair. I adore it, I adore it, I adore it. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I get a lot of compliments. I just try not to do too much touching to it because I don't want to deal with the shedding. But other than that, as you guys see, it is it's flawless. It's beautiful. Love this hair. Love, love, love this hair. Love it. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Don't forget to check out Candy Weave. Um, I'm gonna leave all the links down below. Um, also check out their closures, because like I said, I can't get enough of this closure. And like I always say, stay blessed, stay beautiful, but always stay you. Ciao.